All right, guys, it's Kyle from UTV Source. We just got here to beautiful Coos Bay. It's a little windy, but we're gonna have a blast. We're gonna go through the 2019 Polaris Razor RS1. We start up front, we'll start with the light kit. I decided to do something a little bit more old school. It's kind of got that class one feel, I guess you could say. Went with the single Cyclops light, the LP9. This light legitimately is enough light for the car at the, what this car can go speed wise. So from there, I did the, uh, the Racer Pros and the headlight replacement kit from Baja Designs. Also, A pillars are the Racer Pros. And then the light bar. We have our 20 inch Onyx 6 Baja Designs light bar. Move around, we'll go through some wheels and tires. After racing the Red Bull Sand Scramble, we had to race on knobbies. Tires are still on here. We just got here to Coos Bay. We'll be switching to some EFX Sand Slingers, but these are the EFX Moto Ravages. 32 inch, 15 on Maverick, 15 inch wheels. Let's keep moving on. Oh wait, that acts as a secondary door latch. The PRP window nets. When I was at Sand Scramble, they considered that my secondary door latch. So, which also keeps my hands from flying out. Move on right into the door. PRP makes custom bags. They don't make these custom, but they are the drop-in for specifically for RS1s. They do make custom door bags for Pro XP and Turbo S, all the other players platforms, but the RS ones got their, just the black ones. But let's check out the creme de la creme, right? The GT3, complemented with the New Glory logo, the New Glory harnesses, PRP steering wheel, PRP dash bag, but those, that harnesses, I like them so much. 518 Designs came out a rad design and they ghosted that whole design inside the entire wrap. Let's move on to the suspension. This car decided I wanted to get a little gnarly on the rocks. It's been to Utah, it's been to Oregon, it's been to Glamis, but the rocks, I wanted a little bit more clearance. So I went with the Super ATV high clearance trailing arms. Also complemented with the high clearance radius rods from Super ATV. So from there, we're gonna go to the Savage UTV box, fully sealed. It's been through the mud. Obviously you can see the water crosses behind us. But this one's a little special. We got the Boxo kit. You can order both kits. They got your standard one. You have your Boxo baller kit. You can order those both on utvsource.com. So from there, move on over here I have not touched this I hope there's still a first aid kit in there but I have not had to open it that is also race legal along with the fire extinguisher quick release from Savage UTV from there we have our HMF bumper complemented with a HMF exhaust full exhaust not a slip on this thing's pretty loud pretty rowdy the last thing that complements the car is the new Four foot, red, white, and blue buggy whip. Compliment, America. America themed car. Let's, we're in Coos Bay. Let's go rip. Let's go rip. 